Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to Bishop Conley High School in Fall River, Massachusetts, home of today's NJ, NJCAA basketball game between the Bristol Community College Bees and the North Essex Community College Knights. It's I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, David Cardoza, and I'm along with... Chow here, and it's a little <laughs> bit of a rainy night, but uh, looks like it's going to be a real competitive well, the, game. Well, the weather has nothing to do with today's basketball game. Thank like, God like, it's indoor, right? Yeah, like, uh, like, the other night between the, like the other night's game between the Patriots and the Broncos. The weather's not going to affect us inside here. I know. Boy, I, I regret turning that TV off. <laughs> Did you really do that? I really did. I'm telling you. You're not a you are not a true fan. I know. Well, you know what? I am a true fan. Twenty four to nothing. Well you know what? Well you know I'm what? When you when you have Tom Brady, you never shut the television off. Well our guys look good tonight, Dave. I mean, looks like they're really uh, ready for this game. They were they were over there chanting earlier. That's right. And I'll tell you, we got a couple of real stars on this team. It looks like uh uh we got a lead to score with 25.8 points per game. That's right. The Bristol Community College Bees bring a record of, of three and two overall into tonight's contest against North Essex. And that lead to score is number five, Shane DeRosa. Uh, there's been a lot of good things said about him. Um, so uh, we'll see how he uh, performs tonight. Yeah, if you're scoring 26 points a game, I don't care who you are, you are you're a pretty good player. Yeah, and, and, and up there in the 20s. We got two other players. Actually, with the third player, there's four players close to it. Two at 20 points per game and two at and, 19 yeah. points per game. So you know. Uh, yeah, but he leaves the pack by 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 a little by a little by bit a there. Little bit there yeah, That's it. I tell you right now, both teams both teams don't don't have a lot of height or a lot of a lot of size. So I, I, I expect it to be a I expect it to be a run and gun kind of game between between the two teams. Well, like I told you when you first came in, last year they were just running up and down the court, up and down the court. I was amazed at how quick the bees were. Right. And um, I'll tell you, they did pretty well at 11 and 9 last year. Uh, they beat two national ranked teams that were ranked top 10. That's right. So. Um, I happen to know. I happen. I happen to personally know and go a long way back with uh, with uh, head coach Rob Delalu of the Bristol Community College uh, Bees. Oh, we know. played. We played high school basketball against each other. I know he's going to have his team disciplined and, and ready to play and ready to play tonight for sure. From what I understand, I mean, he's won over 80 percent of his games when he was coaching prior to getting over here. So he's a very successful coach. Right. And um, you can see it on the quality of the game. Rob played, Rob played for Vogue Tech and I played for the Wayham Vikings. And uh, we, had a, we, had a lot of, we had a lot of good contests back in, back in those days. We were actually two of the top, two of the top teams in our conference always, and always, always, making, always making the state tournament. Um, and, Rob, and Rob and I also had some contests out on the, out on the, out on the cement. On the out on the on the play on the playground there. Oh, I wish I was a fly back. There. Actually, summer 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 league, <laughs> in those hot days. He played for he played for a New Bedford summer team, and I played for Wareham, and we got the best of them one year, 1996. Remember that, Rob? That's my that's sure my that's my I'm that's sure my he does. that's my bragging rights that's my bragging <laughs> rights against you. <laughs> well, we're ready to stop the game here. Yeah. Both teams are gradually uh, uh, shaking hands and getting ready for the contest. That's right. The nights were the nights were a little late getting here. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the weather. We're expecting some bad weather here in the New England area with the ice, with a little ice, a little icy rain. It's going to be icy cold uh, Thanksgiving, but I'll tell you, um, Thanksgiving time traffic's out. Tomorrow's the biggest uh, traveling day of the year. Are you going to be Are you going to be traveling out? <laughs> yep. I don't blame you. They get pumped up there, the bees. It's okay. You can get as riled up as you want to get. If you win. It's all what it's all what happens when you step in, in between those lines. DJ Tucker is uh, new addition to team number twelve. Yeah. Um, I 
I didn't have as much of pride as the roster, and uh, just was uh, talking to a few guys. They just got his number in, so I think he's going to be a contributor to the team as well. Okay. Um, I was watching him warm up. Looks like he's a good little player there. We'll see how it goes. I know you and I were both we're both new here tonight. We're stepping in. We're stepping into the fire. So we we'll have to help. We we'll have to help each other out. Okay. Well, it looks like we got. Number 35, Javante Forbes. Number 12, Justin Getman. Number 3, Ryan Grant. Tonight's starting five. Number 22, Derek Androli. And who did I miss there? There's number one, Peterson, Peterson Morancy. The point guard. Point With guard. the pink shoes on tonight. Who do we got for the bees, David? We'll see. Walking out there for the bees, we got we got the leading scorer, Shane DeRosa, the six foot, the six foot sophomore point guard, sophomore point guard from Shea from Shea High School. I see we got number two, Malcolm Monis. Number, number three for Waz Mass from Taunton High School, five foot ten freshman. Number fifteen. And uh, jumping and jumping off, Derek Lewis, six foot five. Number from 11, from New Bedford Bow. Here we go, number That's three. That's it. That chain, that's the Rosa. Right now, the Knights appear to be in zone. There's a cross court pass there. There's a three by the Rosa. He's way off on that one. Rebound. Devon Bailey. It's Devon Devon Bailey, six foot three, with the with the putback. That's number one. Wow, what a what a what a nice. What a nice uh, from, uh, boy, the I if this is any indication, kind of uh, player this kid is, boy, he had a nice. I'll tell you right there, there, that was a heck of that was a heck of a move to the yeah. basket with the with the left hand. He just looked lightning quick on that one, finishing with the left. Just like we're in for a good game. Yeah. And he is a lefty. Missed a free throw and a rebound. <laughs> well, looks like uh, ball's going to the Knights. Number one, bringing it up. Peterson. Peterson's dribbling it over there to the corner. Up to the point. Number 35, Devontae takes that shot. That's another, that's another re that's, a, that's another rebound by Bailey. Rosa, oop. Wow. Gonna be a gonna be a gonna be a goaltend on that one. Up he's in the point guard for uh, the Knights is bring it up to the top. Nice pass to the wing. Number three, Ryan Grant is trying to make something happen. Number 22 drive. Ooh, nice block. I didn't catch that. That foul's gonna be on Derek. That foul's gonna be on the center, Derek Lewis there, number number 15, the freshman. That's his first tonight. Number 22, Derek Androli for the night misses his first shot. Yeah. He's got two for the Lewis gonna be taken out. This is the second one. Miss, miss both free throws. And here goes the beast, quick up the court. Now the bonus, he's quick, boy. Let me tell you, he's quick. Box, gentlemen, box. Looks like they Looks got like those, uh, uh, Knights, appear, Knights appear to be in a 2-3 zone. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ooh, Bailey ripped away. Oh, right out. I'll tell you. Oh, nice play there. I like the way the night. I like the way the Knights look. Yeah. Brian, like it. He was just not for the not for the, not for the sake of the bees, but here comes the Rosa. The bees coming back strong here. Oh, it's like a foul. It's gonna be a shooting foul. Work the ball inside. You get a six. You get the six foot three forward there. Work the ball inside. The the uh, the the, 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 the bees appear to be a little bit. A little bit, a uh, little bit helter skelter out there. Yeah. 
Some 11's on the line for the bees. Let me take over play, take over play by play. Let me take over play by play. Bailey misses the first free throw. We have a tie score here, four, four to four, and here in the first couple minutes. And Bailey miss. Bailey makes the Bailey makes the second. They going back fast. Jeez, they like driving back real fast. Two. Nice instead, shot there by Peterson. Instead of work, just use both of them instead of working. In the corner. You got it. Ooh, number 11. Jim number 11. It. Push it, push it. Very good. Another way to force the foul. Number three. Fawaz Mass. I don't that's, know if I'm pronouncing that that's right. Gonna a, that's going to be on. That's going to be a charge. Oh, it was a charge. When you're, when you're pushing the ball up like that, you got to start looking. You got to start for looking for people down court. You're freaking yeah, going, trying already, to take it from one end to the other. If they're already, you know, stationary, you just can't bump into them. Yeah. Like that. Another quick, another quick move. Ryan, Ryan Grant with a nice drive to the hole. Right to the left side too. Back up to the top. Number three for the bees. Nice block inside. And they don't get fouled. He drew it that time. He drew it that time. No charge that time. At the line, at the line, Ryan, at the line, Ryan Grant. Grant will make it. He's a player, this kid. He's a player. They got Malcolm on it. He'll bounce, he'll bounce both of them in, and we have a tie score. Nine and nine. Lob all the way down. Ooh, block inside, block inside. Another block by Bailey. Huh? That ball lands out of bounds. He's got the ball. Number two, Malcolm Monas brings up the ball. And Looking to make something happen, yeah. Shane got the point. He's going to be taking the ball out. Here's Bailey inside. The hook misses it. Oh, nice little pass inside. That pass was by number two, Colin Collins, inside to Bailey. That's what that's what that's what BCC needs to do a little bit more of. White ball. Rob Del Lou having a little fit on the sideline. Here we go. Here's Collins. Bailey in the corner inside again. Misses it. Rebound by Neff Carmens. Well, the next is constantly pushing the basketball. I'll tell you, this is a good defensive game. Oh, nice. So far, it's the bees are oh, having Nice little so move, nice little quick, nice little quick move. Gonna get it. Set up on a little dipsy do, nice pass inside. Couldn't get it. Back goes to. They swing it. Number three. Way off. DeRosa pushes it back the other way. Puts it up with the left hand and in. Coast to coast on that one, Shane DeRosa. 13. 13 9. 
BCC in man to man. Taking it to the hole again is Peterson Morrency Peterson with, the, with the pink sneakers, and he'll step to the line again. Thirteen and nine early here in the first half. We still have fourteen and fifty-three, fourteen fifty-three to play. Al, I know. seems like we've been playing forever. I'll only tell you, only I, five it, minutes it's off the clock. A big defensive game. They're not giving up any. Lines. A lot of block shots. A lot of errant. A lot of errant passes. BCC not getting back on defense sometimes though. Peterson Morancy for the Knights have really been trying to force these fouls. I'll tell you. He's been doing a good job at it. He'll make both free throws and make it 13-11. BCC. BCC again. Kills with the basketball. Good chance for the Knights. Good chance for the Knights. Morancy. Morancy, the scrappy point guard. Again. Being doubled, being doubled in the corner. In the corner. Kicking it back out and losing it. Oh, picked off by DeRosa. Nice hustle play to the hole and makes it in. Finger rolling in. Nice hustle play there by Shane, De by Shane DeRosa. BCC looking to push back up again. Bounce pass inside. DeRosa rolls back out. Two men back for, B for BCC. Morrency loses it. BCC setting up. They got a chance to set up on D. I thought they were going to get him. Oh, they weren't looking. Looks like they're in zone now. There's a three in the corner, way off. Nobody can hit the broad side of a bar in this one from the outside. This one, God, number two. Um, There's Malcolm, 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 Moniz. Malcolm Moniz. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Here's Shane DeRosa to the hole again, left hand. And he'll step up to, he'll step up to the line. I believe that, uh, that foul looks like it's on number 21, Nef Carmona, six foot two, 240 pound sophomore. He looks like a, he looks like a big boy down there. Looks like he could be a. Uh, looks like he could play a little fullback. DeRosa makes the first one, make it 16 11. Looks like number three comes out for the Knights, and number 10 goes in, Kyle Sanges. Number 10 just checked in for the neck for the Knights, Kyle Sangster. DeRosa sinks both free throws, and the, the Bees lead by six. Gives it right to number 10. Fresh body in there. They're setting up on a 3-2, David. BCC That's it. looks like it's gonna There's work. Morenzi, another, another horrible miss. Another horrible miss by the Knights. And now we get it. That foul's gonna be on, on uh, Peterson Morenzi. The freshman guard. Fouls on the fouls on the pass. BCC will inbound from the sideline. Try to go behind the back, move there, draw the foul. Nice pass there. Nice pass. Nice pass, but he misses the easy bunny inside. Morrency pushes it up the court for the Knights. Setting up for three, and that's playing it out the rim. Pushing it up court. Here comes DeRosa. Loses the basketball. Back and forth. Morrency pushes it up. Two on one. Basketball follies here in Bishop Connolly High School. In the corner, Morrissey takes, takes a baseline. Nice pass inside. Nice job by Morrissey. Yes. Driving that was a like that, off the ball. And giving it to Nef Carmona. That was Carmona who finished for the, uh, for the Knights. Yeah. Offensive foul. Offensive foul on Bailey. That's a big play there. Only a four point game. Carmona will, now, Carmona will check out now for the Knights. Hey, 
Morrissey brings the ball up for, for the Knights. Number two, Colin Collins. Back in, the, back in the zone is BCC. In the corner, open for three, missed it. Like Playing off the backboard, he gets his own rebound. He still couldn't get it. Oh, and Malcolm Moe, that was number, Malcolm, Malcolm Oney's finally finishes it for Northern Essex. Driving to the basket, driving to the basket. Oh, that was a nice move by Farway Mass. Driving into the lane. Nice. Peterson Moranzi in the lane. That looks like it's going to be, that looks like it's going to be the second foul on Moranzi. Check it in. A DeRosa Moranzi duel. Back and forth. Back and forth, pushing up the pushing it up the court. It seems like both teams just have no time. Or just, str just struggling on offense to get something to get something in the half court. This seems like it's just a, it's it's a, a full court, court full yeah. court fast break, one man fast break kind of game. Yeah. Both teams can't hit anything from the outside right now. Being, being denied inside. Another 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 outside shot clanging out the rim. Another fast 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 game. Fast, fast game out of control. Five way mass. Lose the ball out of bounds, but it seemed to be knocked away by a B's defender. In the corner for three, off the side of the backboard. Unbelievable. Well, the Knights brought in number 10, uh, Kyle Sajinsu, and he tried out a couple of three pointers from the corner. So I think they realized that they need to get some of their shooting, um, some of their shooting game going because it's just not working. Right I think both, both teams just can't shoot, is evident. That ball, not, that ball knocked away by number 12 there. Justin Getman. No, no. There's the Rosa kicking him. Oh, nice bounce pass inside. Number 10, Jeff Hernandez. Yeah, that was a, yeah, that was a nice pass. In the corner for three. He got it. Kyle, Kyle Sangster finally gets one. It finally gets one to go, and now he has a chance to get a four-point play here and tie this and tie this ball game up for Northern Essex. Yep. This is the third time he took that shot. Before. He seemed to have confidence in that shot. He definitely didn't. Definitely didn't. Um, wasn't waning confidence to pull the trigger. That's for sure. No, nope, he's not afraid. To and now, just like that, four points for Sangster and a tie game for Northern Essex. Halfway through this first half, here's DeRosa at the top of the key. And that ball's taken away. To the basket and put in. Number two. Put in by Colin. Put in, put in by Colin Collins. And uh, the Knights take the lead. I'll tell you what, that. Oh, nice feed inside. Nice feed inside to, to Kevin Newby. Finishing around, finishing around the rim. Great job on the pick there for the road. Definitely. Back in the zone is BCC. They're in a 2-3 zone. Set the offense. This is the best I've seen their zone all night. There's another three. That's going to cling off the rim. Rebound by Newby. Kick it in the corner. Number 10 drives to the hole, finger roll, and he travels. Jeff, Jeff Fernandez, too many steps there. Nice finish, but nice move, just can't move. take too many steps. Looks like they just took the Rosa off a little break, a little breather. Good, he needs it. He's been going helter skelter out there. 23 23, 23 23. Double team in the corner. Number three, nice take. Oh, rebounded by Newby. Oh. Too much on it. 
23-23, David. We're in a dog fight here. Yes, we are. 8.48 left. Switch to a 3 was Mass. There's Sangster to Mass in the corner. Number 23, the three-point shot is no good. Sangster for three. He missed it. Back up. Pushing up court. The lane. Get into, get into your offense. Put up, put offense. Set, set. BCC setting up. This is a big point for them. It sure is. Ooh, nice in the lane. Can't get it to go. Ball tipped up. Thanks to the rebound. Nice job on DJ Tucker hanging in there. Forcing the turnover. over. Chris Corey. Kyle Sangster. In there for North Essex. Along with Ryan Grant. At the top there's Newby. Little motion offense by BCC. There's travel. He's been big. He's been big on. He's been big on. He's been big on. He's been big on the boards. And big on defense. Big on defense. One two one. This Chris Corey can't get it to go. Nice foul by. I tell you what, Kevin Newby making his presence found, making his presence felt around the basket. We're still tied at 23 apiece. Here's Moniz from the top of the key. Can't get it to go. Rebound inside and one. Justin McElroy with the rebound and the putback and has a chance for a three point play. David, the best part about it is uh, Shane DeRose has been resting all this time. He's going back in now, but he's been resting. They've been able to keep him at bay and they went ahead 25 25. Yeah, that's right. I think the, I think BCC just has to be a little bit more, a little bit more patient on the offensive end. Get into your get into your offense and, and run some plays. Yep, wear them down. And McElroy gets a three-point play, makes it 26 to 23. And now in a press. BCC. Pass it away. Making the defensive play on the other end. Full four press, here comes a trap. Oh, but that's what happens. Oh, it's for the hoop. BCC tried to trap there, it just didn't work. The Knights Northern Essex doing a good job of breaking the press there. Finding the open man, and that's uh, going to be Benjamin Martinez stepping up to the line. He's a fresh pair of legs out there, David, so. Sure Northern Essex to seems to be ro Northern Essex seems to be ro they seem to be rotating a lot of a lot of a lot of different a lot of different new players in. Yeah, yeah. and using them well. Exactly. When they brought Sa Sanger, Kyle Sanger in there. Yeah. Uh, you know they did a great job, great job with him. He had that four point play. Yeah. Both free throws made there by Martinez. Driving into the lane and getting the foul. Getting the foul is number three, Ryan, is uh, foul as Mass. Two blue on the foul, Colin. Colin. Shane DeRosa looks like he could be part of the Red Sox, the Beard Boys. Yeah, maybe he's a fan. <laughs> looks like he's a fan. Yeah, he's looking like Mike Napoli. You know, looking like uh, Johnny Gomes out there. Good. Missing the free throw. Misses the first free throw. They desperately need this one. And he'll make the second. 27-25. Back in the presses, BCC. In the corner. 
trying to make something happen. They got out of the trap. The trap. Because Martinez, oh, he almost had that one. Now back in the zone is BCC. There's a shot for three. It's good. Kyle Sangster again for three. He had the four-point play earlier in the game. And it's going back the other, it's going back the other way. Another travel call. 28-27. BCC will not will not press this time. There's Sangster again for three, and he makes it again. Two threes in a row, Dave. Two threes in a row, his third of the game, and that ball's picked off. Down the other end, inside, here we go. That's Derek Andro, picked off the pass and brought it back. And just like that, it's 33-27 nights. I think if you're Coach Del Lue, you get to call a timeout here. You get to call a timeout here. His newbie in the lane gets it to go. Big basket fight. Right, that was a good one to, to stop the stop the run there by the Knights. Third, going all the way into the lane. That's a nice move. Now we're seeing some good basketball. There's Ryan Grant. Back the other way. Double deuce in there. And it's gonna go off. It's gonna go off the bees. It goes off Derek. An it goes off Derek Andro. Parker, I mean Anthony right? Parker. He tried to make up for that travel and, and uh, a nice drive, but just couldn't finish. Him. Good little player though. Good little. Looks like the here's, Mar here's Martinez on the drive, taking it to the hole, and he'll get fouled again. They look a little confused on defense. First they're going three two, then they pop back to a two three. The Knights are doing a good job of moving that ball around. They just look, yeah. They look more in sync, a little bit more in tune. Benjamin Martinez. I'll tell you what, Martinez is coming and has played some minutes here. Yeah, he's for he's the Knights. And Sakes throughout the Sakes throughout the bench has been huge. Good substitution. Tanks are trying to put his team up by eight. He does. Here's, here's DeRosa. Parker being, Parker being smothered. Here's DeRosa at the top of the key in the corner. They go inside a newbie, being double teamed. Watch out for three seconds. There's a corner three, it's good. It's a three. Oh, he doesn't have a number. Oh. That ball's blocked. Yes, that was DJ Tucker with the three on the other end. Going inside and he's gonna get fouled. That foul looks like it's gonna be on, on the big man newbie. What are they calling on? They call it on three. They call it on three instead of Nobi. Because I didn't see it on Nobi either. Boy, he's been playing great defense. That Nobi's, Nobi's that's gonna be that's gonna be nine fouls. That's gonna be nine fouls on the uh, on the home on the home team BCC. One one more and they're gonna be at the penalty. Looks like the ref has a lot of confusion going on here. Seems to be a lot of confusion in this building today, Al. But 37-32, I give a lot of credit to the uh, the couple guys that came off the bench here and and uh, Kyle Sang Kyle Sangster number 10, Benjamin who came Martina. out who came out who came out shooting like a oh, yeah. like a like a man possessed and missed his first few shots and. Uh, He's hit some of the biggest shots in the game, though, thus far. Yeah, did a good job. Front end of the one-on-one -on -one is made. Oh Ryan, Ryan Grant makes both, makes both free throws for the Knights. 
DeRosa will bring it up. Setting up big, setting up big, yeah. DeRosa pulls up for the jumper on the corner of the... Oh, that, that rebound no good. Tucker back out. Oh, that's another steps. A little bit of dancing. It looked like he was a little confused with what he wanted to do there. And that's going to be about the fifth traveling call on BCC this evening. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. That's just silly. That's just a lot of mistakes. They go inside to so the bruiser inside. He can't get it. Gets his, gets his own rebound, goes back up with it, and nearly throws it over the backboard. I'll tell you that's Neff that Carmona. David, without Nubi underneath there, you can see a difference. He oh, you can definitely, you can definitely see it. You can definitely see a difference. His foul was Moss. Tucker. Oh, Tucker with a nice crossover. Gets it in the corner for the jumper. No good. DeRosa steps in. Claims one off the rim. DeRosa gets his own rebound in the corner, and then BCC will reset. It's Parker. Moss. Rosa. Here's Bailey. He'll miss. Rebound by Ryan Grant. Pushing it back the other way. Yellow shoes and all. In the lane. Spin move. Can't get it. There's Neff Carmona and he can't. He misses the bunny. Nice rebound get by Devon Bailey. Oh, nice pass by DeRosa. Bailey misses the really easy shot. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up and can't. Nice effort. Nice effort. Well, let's see how Bailey goes up the free throw line. I'll tell you, great effort. You do get like the effort on that. Bailey going up again, a couple rebounds, couldn't make. Yeah. They're missing a lot of easy shots, a lot of easy bunnies, a lot of travel calls, just little little things, little mistakes here. Hopefully, that's something that. Rob Del Lue, Coach Rob Del Lue can correct during the half. Yeah, and I'm sure he will. Get his team under control, get his team. They just need to settle calm, down. Calm, calm down, settle down, be patient in offense, and try to take this thing to another level in the second half. There's Martinez. Grant at the, Grant at the point. Grant has been taking over that point. Grant, pull up jumper. It's good. DeRosa will push the ball up court to Fawaz Moss. Reaching in. Reaching in to number 10, Kyle Sangster. And this is going to be a one and one. Eight point difference now. Eight point difference, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to count BCC out. It's only eight points. And no, yeah. That free throw is made by Fawaz Moss. I'll tell you what, I see a lot of fluorescent shoes out there between the pink and by uh, Marenzi there and the yellow shoes over here. I mean, what's going on? I, I brought my sunglasses. You'd be. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Both free throws made by Fawaz Moss, making a six point game with two minutes left. Grant, top of the key. Buys his man inside. Carmona loses the ball. Thanks to being trying to trap him. Timeout called. Good job. Good job by the Knights. Well, six point, six point game. It's not out of reach. Okay, I'm sure coach is trying to get them all together and settle down. If they settle down on D like they were doing earlier, I can see them really, you know, pulling this off. Because well, right now, well, right, well, right, well, right, right now, coach, it seems like, I mean, it's just, it's just the eye test. It just seems like they're making, they're making shots down this end. The, the Knights are making shots down their end. BCC may lose it. Missing a lot of missing a lot of easy baskets down down their end. Turn the ball over. 
and turn the ball over in foolish ways. I mean, I agree. Uh, I mean, you get five or six travel calls on on on, on your end. I mean, well, you got like to clean that up. He's decided to give him the longer rest. Play him. He's probably going to play him big on the second. Oh, I don't know how many balls. Driving to the hole and spinning. Nice move to the hole. Nice move. Couldn't get it to go. That was Sangster. Couldn't get it to go. Nice up fake in the, in the corner and moves to the basket. Cut it to the hole is DeRosa. Kicking it back out for the jumper. No good. Rebound by DeRosa. Inside. Can't get that to go. Another one. Another. Seems to be a lid on that hoop for the Bees. Hopefully they'll have luck on their end. On the, on the other end in the next half. Here's Carmona inside. They didn't call it though. I thought so. Oh, the bees just can't get any, they just can't get anything to go. They're getting they're getting some good looks, especially inside. They just can't just can't get anything to drop right now. I tell you what, DeRosa needs to have he needs to step up and have a good second half. Shot clock one and down to the hole and he makes it. Nice job, Anthony. Boy, it just didn't fall for him, but this time he sure did. He's got a chance to make himself up. He's got a chance for another three-point play yeah. here. Ooh. That ball gets it. Bounces out, but the rebound is there, and a nice ball. Nice, nice play. Derek Pinto, where'd he come from? And Point game now with 53 seconds. See that that should be a two-point game right now. I think it was 41 to it was 41 to 37 before. It's big if they can turn it over and score again before the half, you know. Well, we have a whole second half, and this game is I mean this game is tight right now. You know, you've seen Shane DeRosa the lead the. Uh, the leading scorer over here in the conference, he, 26 points a game, not having, not having his best game. Look for him to come out in the second half and, and have a big half and for the I'm Bees. Sure he's going to put back Here's Ryan Grant, being got by, by Parker. That's a three by Martinez, he can't get it to go. Hustle play. Wow, that was a nice one. Look at those two guys going for it. Derek Pinto has come in and give, trying to bring some energy to this Bees team. Come on, a nice bounce pass inside. Nice inbound play. That was Chris Corey inside. Rosa in the corner, there's Pinto for three, he makes it! Nice job. Derek Pinto comes off the bench to score five big points to, in the last couple of minutes and bring this game to within one. Nice shot in the corner. That was big. Big, big play. Big momentum booster going into the half. At the half, we have a score of 43 to 42. The, the North Estic, the North Estic Knights uh, lead lead by one here over your over your Bristol Community College bees. Second half. Yeah, I, yeah, our first half. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you. First uh, half, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you right now, I'm expecting a real fast second half because I think the bees exactly. want to go back to what was working. Yeah. Get back, get back to basics, slow things down, kind of play, play within yourself. They're gonna need a big second half 
from their top scorer, Shane DeRosa. Here's DeRosa with the ball now. Over to Parker, back up top. Well, they put Derek Lewis in. I was looking for the guy, I was looking for the guy, I was looking for him in the paint. Oh, and what a block. But Bentley goes in, and a nice strong move to the hole after the block. Oh, there's a nice, nice jump hook. Nice ball, big. Tell you what, a couple big, a couple big guys out there yeah, with uh, with Bailey and without Bailey and then Derek Lewis, six foot five and six foot three and six foot five respectively. Ooh, this got a body down there. It's getting physical down inside. Here's it. Yeah. There's Bailey in the corner, kicks it back out. Here's Lewis, makes a move to the hole, and I believe we're gonna have a floor on the ground. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a foul on the floor there. David Bryant, Grant, and DeRose is really Foul's gonna be our number foul's gonna be our number twelve. Bouncing off each other. Oh, it's Justin Getman. I tell you. Aaron Pat Aaron Pass looked like it was tipped. And that's gonna be an error pass. It's gonna be it's gonna be. <laughs> Rubbing that smooth ball head of his. Here's Morenzi. Gets it to the lane. Quick as lightning. Put it up, but he couldn't get couldn't get it to go. And that's rebounded by Lewis. Outlet to DeRosa. DeRosa, set a step. And he stepped down the line. And that's, that's good. That's good defense by the Knights. Force it a base, force it a baseline. That's right. Lorenzi. Moniz. He was in his. Ooh, that ball taken away. Nice. Bailey the outlet. Here comes DeRosa. Doesn't have the numbers, but goes up with it. Couldn't get it to, get it to go. Bailey misses it inside. Lorenzi all alone. That ball got kicked out. Morenzi chases it down and lays it up and in. And the Knights regain the lead. That's Moniz, Malcolm Moniz with the basketball. Ooh, losing it in the lane. Gonna go up, and it's another travel. Another travel by, another travel by BCC. Definitely, it looked like so. Ooh. Like I was saying, Every blue ball. They're on each other, boy, big time. Definitely, definitely in each other's any in each other's jerseys right now. That's Mo knees. That's Mo knees. I'm that's Mo knees. I'm Marenti. There's a three and a miss. Ball, ball, loose on, ball loose on the floor. Take it down underneath four for the Knights. Renzi. Not sure what the hubbub is about right now. We have a 45 to 44 ball game here with 17, 31 left early in the second half. And it's getting really, really physical out there, David. Get a little chippy, get a little chippy out there. I don't know why we're stopping. Could be a three two, right? Looks like this thing. Little, little meeting, little meeting of the minds. <laughs> well, it's just the NFL. Look at that. Good job by good job by Lewis fronting front his man there, not letting him. That's a fadeaway jumper. That's a bad, I think a bad decision, a bad shot right there. Moniz pushes the ball up for BCC. 
Getting it inside to Lewis. Back out to Moniz. Gets it blocked. Nice. That was blocked by Carmona. Inside. Moniz can't get it to go. There's Bailey, the, the little half hook, and he gets it to go. I wish I had a stat sheet in front of me. <laughs> From the top of the key, the miss. Tipped up by DeRosa, rebounded by Lewis. NBCC will look to push. Malcolm Moniz in the corner to DeRosa. They go in the post. Bailey, nice move. And that should be the offense right there for the Bees right there. Get inside down to Bailey. Get inside down to Lewis. Yeah. You get a height advantage right now. Take advantage of it. And I'll tell you. And Bailey's been Bailey's been Bailey's been really good inside and real opportunistic on the inside and on the boards. And it's funny, he's not one of their leading scorers, David. And mm -hmm. I'll be, and you know, according to the stats that I have, he's not <laughs> And I can't he, see why because he's definitely today, leading, he's definitely one of the leading scorers today. Bailey hits the first one. <laughs> Missing the free throw, Bailey. Pushing up with Grant. Grant trying to find his man inside. It's denied. BCC comes up with the basketball. Pushing it down one end. All the way. Ice play. Coast to coast, Ryan. Coast to coast. That was mass. That's going to be a foul before the shot. Looks like it's going to be on Malcolm Moniz. Three-two defense being played. There's Ryan Grant for three. Side rims it. Carmona the rebound. There's a jumper by number 35. Nice Javante, Javante Forbes, the six-foot-five big man, finally makes his outside outside shot. The big man has been a real presence here in the second half. Like you said, I wish I had a, a stat sheet. It's a big man's game. <laughs> What I have don't make sense because I'll tell you right now, number 11 for BCC, Devon Bailey. Devon Bailey, he's been definitely. A, he's got to be one of them. He's definitely, definitely a difference maker. Because he's got some. We don't have the stats in front of us, but I'll tell you what, Devon Bailey, Devon Bailey has been in there making buckets. Shane DeRosa has struggled and has been non-existent in this game and still waiting for him to uh, make his presence felt here in, I here in Fall River, Mass. In, I mean, he's another big man between him and Lewis right. down on the knees. We got a foul on the floor. And it looks like it's going to be on number 22. That's Nephi Carmona. Neff Carmona. Like BCC is spread BCC out. BCC will take underneath. Ooh, it's on a leap of play. There's Lewis inside. One and one, he called the push. So the foul's, the foul's gonna be on the, uh, on the Knights. There's the Rosa, swing pass to three. And that ball did not go in. Pushing it the other way with quickness. There's a three. No good. A lot of pushing underneath there, Dave. Yeah. Told you getting told you get a little physical here in the second half. Good job by Peterson Morenzi to push the ball up court. Swinging it, swinging into the corner, but yeah. <laughs> calling it off. Here's DeRosa. Trying to get his offense Ooh. going. Bailey. Ooh, spinning move in the lane. Wow. Get, gets it to go. What a move. Malcolm Oniz. Wow. 
51-47, the home team. Nice spin and move by Moniz. In the lane is Lorenzi. Nice inside. Gets it to Komoda. Easy basket underneath. Nice pass. And a stem inbound pass is stolen. Bailey goes up for the block on Grant, and it will follow Grant. And Grant will go to the free throw line. That's what happened in the first half. You know, a couple of mistakes, and they jumped right on it, the Knights. You see, it seems like they're always there to just try to steal an inbound pass. Yep, yep. And that's B's going B's to be uh, cognizant of that. They need to be vigilant. Definitely. <laughs> looking, at, looking to tie this game is Ryan Grant. He makes the first one. Coming in is Kyle Sangster coming in for Javante Forbes, a six foot, six foot five freshman. He's a three, definitely a three point threat out there. And where game is tied. Lewis is going to check out. Lewis is going to check out. Oh, nice pass inside, Moniz. Couldn't get it to go. That was a nice pass by DeRosa to find him underneath, but couldn't get it to go. Good defense underneath. Here's Sangster for three, and he got it. He's money, man. They can't give him room. DeRosa decides not to pop it. Moniz for three. He has it. He looks comfortable doing that. Nene needs to maybe do a little bit more of that as he ties the game and responds to Sangster. Grant going all the way to the lane, and he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line again. Is really stepping up. He definitely is. A lot of guys that maybe you coach you wouldn't expect to, to st step up at uh, at different moments. Well, he's a pop, yeah. pop jump shot. He's got this. Yeah. yeah that, that was definitely, cool. definitely look comfortable and definitely look relaxed in doing it. And pretty too, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what though, Shane DeRosa not being able to create any offense for himself and looking kind of hesitant on the offensive end. Kind of yeah. surprised. Thought we'd expect, but I'd, in my first time seeing him play, I thought we'd see more from him. 56-54. Both free throws made by Grant on the other end. Here's Moniz. And there's DeRosa for three. He makes it. And maybe that's something that can get the kid going. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Giving them the lead. Yeah. Three-pointer at the top of the key. Grant get in the lane again. Tipped up. Ball loose on the floor. Sangster fighting for it in DeRosa. And, and if they call a kick on Sangster, they call a kick on the Knights. Ball's going the other way. Tell you what, if DeRosa could get going right now, boy, that's going to give BCC a kick in the butt. Here's Moniz. Backing in, spinning on Morenzi. And we. And that's another foul. That's, I'll tell you what, Morenzi's got about three or four fouls on him. He's close to checking out this ball game. And the Knights coach is not happy. He is not happy with that ball. He needs to have some Thanksgiving cheer. Ooh, going to the lane and a nice block underneath. That was a nice block by Colin Collins. Going to the lane, Moniz couldn't get it to go, but there's Bailey to clean up the, to do the dirty work. But Moniz, Moniz was the guy to make the penet was, to, was the guy to penetrate and open that up. Morenzi makes a mistake. Go back the other way. Moniz couldn't get the numbers. Backstop for three, couldn't get it to go. And here's Morenzi. Back the other way. It's in the lane, a nice play. I tell you what, he is aggressive. And he's quick. He is not, he looks like he's fearless out there. And it's 59 to 58, and another chance to tie, to get, uh, to tie this one. One point game, dude. <laughs> wow. One point game. Both teams looking better on the offensive end. Yeah, I agree. I tell you what, Moniz looking looking really comfortable out there. Yeah. And he's he's creating a lot of this offense. 
even though he even though he missed even though he missed that little bunny underneath, he was the guy that, that made that made the penetration and opened yep. things up for Bailey to, for Bailey yeah to make it happen. Yep. Being aggressive, Bailey getting get Bailey getting in there for another offensive rebound, tie ball game. DeRosa. Outside top of the key, Bailey swings it to Moniz. Being covered by Ryan Grant. Tie ball game in the river. Down the lane, DeRosa takes it to the hole. Couldn't get it to go. Went up with a switch to the left hand. It was a pretty move, but couldn't get it to go. Grant to the other end. Nice pound again by Bailey. It's finishing that's the problem here. Oh, nice weight. Lost control of the ball. Good job to get it to Moniz. Bailey, up big, baseline. Pushing, it was, they call a push off on Bailey. Pushing off when you get the basketball, you can't do that. And on the playground, you can do that. You can't do that here. You mean you can't push Dave? <laughs> They make everything Mickey Mouse in these sports nowadays. It's like these pass interference calls. Football. Ryan Grant. Andrew White for the night. Andrew White, he's, he's also checked in. There's Sangster, kicked it back out. Little mayhem here. Good defense there by, good defense there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're giving him a break. Number one. Bailey will come out. Costello will give his big man a breather. Number one, Justin McElroy. I tell you what, this Ryan Grant, he just looks explosive. The jumper. Short. Rebounded by DeRosa. DeRosa take it all the way to the other end to so the hole and it's blocked. Blocked by by Colin Collins. I tell you, Parker was open in the corner there, but. DeRosa felt that he had that lane and he looked good, but just couldn't follow. I like, I appreciate him being aggressive there. Yeah. That, that's what he needs to do. He wasn't aggressive in the first half. He wasn't taking the ball to the hole, wasn't looking for his own shot. Yep. Well, Tucker And comes DeRosa in. seems to be grimacing here. DeRosa's taking And he'll be, either. he'll be taken out. Tucker's Under, been underneath, big Fernandez big on the up. inbound, and that ball smacked away by the speedy Morenzi. Pink shoes and all. Like that's why. That's where I know. <laughs> I gotta get me a pair of them, Dave. Where can I get a pair of those? Oh no, the shoes are getting uglier and uglier these days, Al. Coach, they don't make them like they used to. Monus. Monus to the lane, looking to fade away there. Passes it back out to Double Deuce. Tucker had a great three-point shot earlier. Here's a jumper. From the top of the key, couldn't get it, thanks to the rebound. Pushing it up court is Morenzi. Looking to get all the way into the lane. Someone's gonna get in front of him when he's pushing the ball up the court like that. Yeah. Do something. Don't give him a lane. I mean, he's, he's just blowing by everywhere. He looks like Speedy Gonzalez out there. Nine good, nine. good, good defense by the Bees. Nice job by the Bees. Now the uh, S. Northern Essex going to get the ball in there. So here we go, Coach. 59-59, 10-54 left in this ball game. What do you see differently for the B for the Bees? How are they? <laughs> what, what, what are we seeing differently for the Bees? How are they? I think the Bees have done a good job adjusting. Do you see a difference? Are they playing better? It looks like well, they're playing a little bit better here in the, in the second yeah, half. Yeah, they did a really good job adjusting to the Knights and substitutions. The Knights substituting with the three-point shooters, and then the Bees switched their defense around, and I think they did a really good job doing that. They'll go to the three-two right. to cover the outside, and they'll pop back on to the two-three. You know, when they think they're going to get driven on fast with fast breaks. You know, I think I think coach has done a good job this half. I mean, they've hanged in there. They were down. They hanged in there. They got ahead. And you, know? you can't say enough about Malcolm Moniz and a couple of the big shots that he's made. Yeah. And then of course, and then of course Bailey. Bailey, and of course Bailey, and of course Bailey inside. Coach Del Lu trying to rally his troops here. 
A lot of basketball left to be played. It's icy outside, but we're a little, we're getting a little warm and heated inside. A couple nights before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving for everyone. That's and it. a safe one, too. I'm, I'm starving right now. <laughs> Maybe we have a little tricky tonight, huh? <laughs> There's only going to be one turkey at the end of this one. Well, I know they, the bees are going to start talking turkey out there. And we get a call, and it's going to be against Northern Essex. Push off. That's going to be on the big man, Javante Forbes, 6'5", 220, from Miami, from Miami, Florida. I know he's, uh, he's inside right now. Big man from Miami getting out, coming out of the game right now. Yep. On the floor for Northern Essex. That's Marenzi. Marenzi and Colin and Colin Collins in the backcourt. Down low they have Kyle Sangster. And Martinez down low and Chris Corey. Malcolm Moniz with the basketball. Giving it inside. That's number 12. He missed it. Kicking it back out and picked off. That's Collins bringing it all the way to the hole. Has it ripped away. Now being double teamed is, is Justin McElroy. There it is. Open. There's Moniz. Nice bounce pass back to number 20 to Pinto. Got a way to move the and ball Pinto around. coming back in. Make it another make it another play. If you remember, he hit the three-pointer before the before the end of the half. Twisting and turning is Mac was Morenzi bringing it back the other way. Fernandez inside bucket. Justin McElroy. I tell you, here they are, right? Four points with their big man sitting down. Who's that number 12 there? Is that Tucker? That's Tucker. He's been big as a substitution. He's been coming and doing his job. Coming and making a big defensive play, getting in, getting it over to uh, McElroy for the easy lay-in. Same with And it's 63 to 59. Pinto's been doing a great job. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're resting the roll shot. They're resting. Pinto has about seven points off the bench for, for the bees. Recognize, recognize your protector. Looks like man, looks like man to man on the inbound play. Going down inside, Carmona using his body can't get it to go though. Nice defensive play. Nice defensive. Play. That was a good defensive play. Moniz, Moniz running the offense. Pinto in the corner, gets it down, inside, nice play. Parker. Parker, yes. Wow. Big play, Jay. Anthony Parker. And the bees are Anthony Parker the in the lane. They're going to start stinging him any minute now. <laughs> Getting in the lane. In the corner, that's Martinez for three, and he sinks it. And boy, that's a big shot right there. He's another one. That's a big push. Just when the bees were getting some momentum, that's a that's a big shot to take and a big shot to make. Aaron pass. It seems Al, as soon as one team, it looks like one team is starting to pull away, building a five, six, seven point lead. Even even the Knights, it seems like the the other team always goes down and makes a makes a big play, makes a big shot. And, uh, I agree. And, and they got to stay vigilant. Falling out of bounds. I think he called it was a push off. Yeah, he push kept off, moving. Push off on Pinto. Yeah, he kept moving. He's Shane DeRosa. Shane DeRosa looking to check in back, back into the game, and he'll come in for. He'll come back in for. He'll come in back in for the microwave over here. Derek Pinto. Well, DeRosa's had a chance to rest up. He's got a see what he can do. That shot missed. So one and one. Both teams in a one and one situation now. Oh, nice thing. Driver to the lane is that Parker. A nice athletic move. And the foul will be on number 23, Benjamin Martinez, going to the hole. Good job drawing the foul. I tell you, I tell you, coach, on both sides, you see a lot of explosiveness. A lot of explosiveness to the basket. 
a lot of, but a lot of times you got you got to be able to finish on the other, you got to be able to finish when once you get there. Playing it out the front of the rim, he's Anthony Parker. He's got another one. He's got, he's got to dump the next one. The second, drop, yeah. yeah, second one drain by Parker. 66-62. Looks like we got a, looks like we got a little man-to-man -man press. Full court press here. And now going man-to-man, -man, Coach Delalu's got his team in man-to-man. -man. Looks like a three-second well, three violation. This might be a. This might be oh, a. This might. A this might be a. This might be a defense that uh, Coach Del Luz goes with down the stretch here, playing yeah. playing some of the man to man. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's decided he wants to do. I think they can definitely match up man to man. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Moniz gets the inbound pass from DeRosa. and now follows Mouse. That's Parker. Spots up jumper. Bounces up and gets the lucky bounce. That was pretty. Gets the Bristol bounce. And it's 68 to 62. Here's Ryan Grant. Looks like we get, look, we'll get a foul on uh, Justin McElroy. And well, the Northern Essex is going to be in the one on one situation. Well, he did a good job slipping the pick, but he ended up slapping him on the wrist. That's what happens. He can't reach in. 68-62. Ryan Grant misses the free throw. Rebounded by McElroy. Looking to push his, his Bristol. Moniz drives in and goes back out. Gives it to the big, gives it to the big scorer, Shane DeRosa. Bawas Moss. Nice move to the hole, and he travels. This has to be a record I've ever seen for a free. What is that? Like but nine that's like about, it's like it's about eight or nine traveling calls. Which is sick. <laughs> Here's Morenzi. There's Sangster for three. Didn't look like he got to square up on that no, one. He, he, he wasn't square. He was not square. He couldn't. Yeah. He shot that one from a weird angle. You read my mind, David. I, I, was, yeah. I saw the same thing. He look wasn't at, squared off. Definitely, definitely looked like an awkward shot. I think if if the Knights want to ultimately win this game, they need to they need to get Sangster going from the outside, and and the other kid, the other kid Martinez, with a big three over there in the corner earlier to stop a to stop some momentum. Just to stop a run earlier in this half. Here's Morenzi. Morenzi stepping up to the hole and he gets it. Beats his man off the dribble on Parker. And it's 68 to 64. They gotta watch. You see the little hesitation. Yeah, you see the little hesitation on that, and then he just bit his burst, it just blew by him. Good one-on-one -on -one move. Here's DeRosa losing the basketball. Sangster comes up with it. Gets it to Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant opening his space, makes a nice move to the hole, and he couldn't get it to go. Big fouled. Couldn't get it to go. Foul was masked on the other end, and he'll get fouled. Ooh, that's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one by Grant. It. I thought he was gonna dump it to Monas in the corner, but he decided to go all the way with it. Right. And he drew that foul. Let's see what happens here. But I, you know, both teams drawing a lot of fouls because they're getting to the rack. Yeah. They're making aggressive moves to the rack, but they can't they cannot finish it on the other end. Yeah. Nice release on that kid, boy. Getting some free throws. Moss is out there a lot, boy. He's been playing a lot of minutes today. He definitely has. And he'll sink both free throws there. Yep. Six point lead. A little pressure here. A little early pressure there by Labiz. Kicking it back out. There's double dues for three. Derek Andral. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Big shot there. 70-67.
inside. McElroy fades away off the glass, couldn't get it to go. Ends up back with the basketball, nice follows up a nice way to follow a shot and sink it off the glass. Marenzi on the other end. Nice play, nice hands. Nice hands by Forbes. Boy, that press you see him. It was an errant pass inside by, by Marenzi and Forbes stood with it. it. Looked like he bobbled it a little bit, yep. but stood with it with the soft hands and put it up off the glass. The That's man, a nice move there. The big man followed up. Yeah, he did. Yep. Twinkle toes with the soft hands. But on the other end, we have a foul and we have Fawaz Mass back at the line. Back at the line. Ooh, he's on it. Yes, sir. That's three in a row. Six minutes left in our contest. Coming out, coming out now is uh, McElroy. Yeah. Tucker Tucker's coming back in. Looks like they're going to substitute after this whistle. And Tucker will come in, and Moniz yeah. and McElroy will come out. Bailey back in also, Devon Bailey, the six foot three freshman from Rogers High School. And he's had a little bit of a rest, so he's gonna be yes. rest. Yes, here's McElroy, the picks, uh, the, look at, there was a pick there set. Look at Carmona, the tough move, and that's up and in. Carmona. Three point game. I'll tell you what, i tell you what, Coach, the, uh, the Knights have some bulk in there with uh, the, the kid Forbes there, number yeah. 35. There's a jumper in the corner. Anthony Parker, yes. 22 Carmona. They got some beef down there. 76 to 71. That basket was made by Parker. Ryan Grant fades away. Couldn't get it to go. Carmona inside. Nice slip inside to Forbes. Twist and turns. Nice move by And another easy shot. Couldn't get it to go. They come Shane DeRosa. Pulls up from the free throw line. Couldn't get it to go. Carmona, the big man, with the rebound. Jesus, you're the knife you really want to work it inside. There's a big man, Forbes, off the glass. What a bad shot. Now there's the outlet by DeRosa, inside, off the glass and in! Nice play. Anthony Parker on the outlet from DeRosa. Gives unbelievable. He's definitely, he is definitely stepping up. I like to see his stat line now. Coming in big in the second half. What a move. Well, the Bees has extended their lead to seven points. Uh, seven, seven point lead, and they really have asserted themselves here in the second half. They got fresh legs, Dave. They're ready to play. And there's a three point play, and the Bees are really a show, they really showed a, they really show that they got a set here in the second half. Going to the baseline, Grant, oh, what a move. Bailey won the charge there, he oh, couldn't get it. Exactly. Didn't have position. Back within six. There's DJ Tucker in the corner. Parker, a little, little jagged move. Ooh, missed the shot. Grant finds, finds Marenzi, he couldn't pull it in. Six point lead. Inside, Marenzi couldn't get it to go. Another easy shot missed down low. DeRosa, got numbers. Inside, nice to McElroy. Nice pass, and that's a good ball. Right I'm sorry, DeFaul was mass. And he'll step up to the line with DeRosa leading the way. What a nice pass. Big play there. 81-73. Boy, it seems this kid's always on the line. You know, miss it this time. Had a chance for a three-point play, couldn't sink, the, couldn't sink the free throw. Morenzi in the corner. There's Sankster, the three, couldn't get it to go. That's a big miss. Nice time, Mike. Nice time by my coach. Sankster, that would have been a big three-pointer big three pointer if he could get it. Bailey. Well, Whipping. Three minutes and 51 seconds, David. Right now we have an injury on the court. We have Devon Bailey, the superb big man for the uh, for the bees, and that's not a that's not a good injury now or going forward. Looks like he rolled his 
being helped off the floor by the uh, Bees trainer there. Well, let's look at some upcoming games that we have for the uh, for the Bristol Community College Bees. I think the next game, David, is Thursday, December 5th. No, we got Monday the 2nd against UCAP, That's 7 o'clock game. Yeah. Yep. At home, they face Gateway, another 7 p.m. contest. The 7th, they face Lincoln. And then December 10th against Massasoit. And the 14th, they play Roxbury. Again at 3 p.m. Yeah, so you get a few, you get a few tough contests on the schedule. Coming for the coming for the bees. That's always a good game. That's always a good. That's always a good team right there. Bristol Community College looking to win their fourth. Looking to win their fourth game. Four and two would be a good start for this young team. And here's DeRosa being guarded by the quick Morenzi. They got Parker in there. Big possession right here for the bees. You like to th if they can put it up by double figures here. You like to think they could cast that could be the end. Don't need to do anything with it right now. 15 on the shot clock. Looks like Bailey's still limping a little bit on the side. Yeah, he's not doing well. Here's the Rosa. Seven on the shot clock. Here's the Rosa. Making a move, loses it. Bad turnover there. That was big. Grant going down the other end. Looking to lay it in. It's up. Tapped away. Big tap by McElroy. Three on two. Hit into the lane. Tucker. And there's a block and foul. Nice. Nice job by Tucker getting the shot off, knowing he's going to get fouled. Exactly. Almost and on not, his back, and he I, throws it up to Jordan Fowl. Exactly. Good job. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. A big turnaround by, by BCC in the, second, in the second half. Well, the whole team's up by eight, looking to make it nine. <laughs> Well, it looks like Northern Essex is in the penalty right now with 10 team fouls. The first free throw missed by DJ Tucker. Still a little bit of time left. But it's a three, three possession ball game. Moniz will come in for Tucker. Nine point lead. Here's Morenzi looking to get into the lane. There's a foul there, and, and it'll be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Substitution. You got Neff Kimona coming in for, for number 10, Kyle Sangster. This is where you're going to make free throws. Yep. Very important. Can't do it. Three minutes left. Well, what, what just happened? I didn't know. I don't know. <laughs> what just happened right there? Like Either way, looks so. It looks so. And it wasn't no. They would have been at the free throw line. So. Oh yeah. Either way, it's a turnover. North Essex except the basketball. And we've got word of the call. Oh, nice pass by Green inside to Carmona. That's something that that's something that they should have done more. 82. And here comes the trap. And the ball taken away. Hey, Carmona. Ball's passed to. Grant lays it up and in, and Rob Del Lu, Coach Del Lu's going to be furious. This is what they can't do. Now here comes the trap. They lose the ball again. Carmona comes up that. with it. Here's Morenzi, kicks it back out. Big possession right here. Two minutes left. Shake it off. The bees have to shake it off. There's a three in the corner. It's in, it's good. Wow. Colin Collins with the three. And it's a two-point game with two minutes left. Wow. 
Wow, Dave. I'm at the edge of my seat here. Yeah. Wow, what a turn of events. Just when you thought BCC had this thing in the bag, it's a two-point game. Eight points ahead. And let me go. All within, what, 20 seconds? Unbelievable. Hey, you got to give the Knights credit. Just when you think you gotta they're going to get the out of it, they come back. And if they've done it two or three different times today. Coach Del Lou just said it. They just scored seven points in 30 seconds. Yeah. It all started with a started with a turnover there in the lay-in by Ryan Grant. Yep. And then you just seen the three-pointer by Colin Collins. Big and again. Unbelievable. Substitution. They bring. And now we have us. Three pointers, and they're just banging them from the outside. When they needed it. Coach is not happy. And boy, if you're in Northern Essex, you are on the you are on the you are on the edge of the cliff there. It looked like all it looked like all the bees had to do was just hit, hit some free throws and kind of play clock management there at the uh, here at the end. And now we have ourselves a barn burner two, yep. with two two minutes left. That's lots of basketball left to be played. And now here comes the press. The pressure is on. Boy, Moniz the back in. To travel there. They were yelling travel. An aggressive trap, aggressive pressure, aggressive trap and pressure. And now they'll fall back to man to man. Nice bench yelling defense. Wow, and that would have been another big turnover. But it's going to be off the. It's going to be off the Knights. Looks like it was off Carmona. Now from the sideline. Ball being inbounded by Mass. McElroy, seven on the shot clock. They have to remember they're ahead. That was Mass in the corner to Rosa for three. Couldn't get it to go, tipped up. up Rebounded by McElroy, who'll get fouled. He draws the foul. Wow. Big play. Big play by Justin McElroy. Boy, you can draw the fouls, but you gotta make them. Dude. You gotta make the free throws, and when you get in the lane, and you have open, you have open shots down the, on, down there. You're gonna make them. And boy, you gotta make your free throws. This one. This, one. this game, this game that we. at least another shot at it. All right, but it's still it's still gonna be a three point game. Right. This game this game tonight has not been the consummate uh, fundamental game. I'll tell you that. A lot of missed free throws. A lot of missed bunnies. Both free throws missed. Carmona comes up with a huge rebound. Two-point game with a minute 15 left in Bishop Conley. Morenzi. North Essex just need to run their offense here. There's Ryan Grant with a big shot. And the ball game is tied here. What a turn of events. And the pressure by Northern Essex has been a factor here. Let's see how BCC can handle it. 45 seconds left. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Here's Moniz. This is Shane DeRosa time. Parker. Parker. Seven on the shot clock. Loose ball. McElroy to the basket. Makes the hoop. Look what I found. Carmona, the big man, dribbling the ball up the court. Going to get the hands. Morenzi in the lane, in the corner for three. Collins can't get it. Rebound, Carmona gets it up and in. It's a tie game. Big rebound by Collins. 13 seconds. Well, we got one. We got a dog fight here. Wow. Wow, we have a dog. Well, I'll fight. tell you what, I'll tell you what, Al, with 13.6 seconds left, you're going to get one final shot left. Who do you want the ball, who do you want it to go to? I know Shane DeRose is your man, but Anthony Parker seems to be a guy that's been big in this second half. Yeah, yeah. And this is where I like Bailey 
really, they're really going to miss a guy like this. Right. This injury really is going to make a difference. I'll because tell you what, though, what a comeback. Get what a him comeback. On the knee, that's what I'd like to do, is to get it to him on the knee. But you can't use him now. So you got to go with, you know, your your money guy like the Rose. You got to go. What with about the, guy the press, like though? That. What about the press and the factor that it's been here in the last couple of minutes, being able to turn the ball? Well, you know they're going to be covering him tight, okay? That's where a guy like Parker can come in. You know, if he's free, well, DeRosa takes it. If they're going to try to trap DeRosa, PCC is so kills with the basketball. If they can escape here today, it's going to be, it's going to be big. Yeah, real big. Well, we'll see, Dave. 13.6 seconds left. For let's see, let's see what we got. <laughs> Well, 84, 84, 84. They got Parker out there, they got DeRosa, they got McElroy, they got right. Bonus, they got all the quick guys out there. So they, they're trying to make it happen fast. And here comes a man-to-man -man pressure. Moniz. Look to be a little press. Six on the six on the game clock. Moniz. Back across court. On the runner, the Bobas! And there's a foul! Foul on the play! There's a foul on the play! You gotta be kidding me! There's How can you foul on that play. situation? Wow! David, you couldn't write yeah, a better oh my. He dumps this, and it's the game. You gotta be kidding me. Well, the refs the Who was that foul on? Was it on Colin Collins or it was or was two two? I I thought he said two two or was it two? I think it was two for the Knights. And there's no the Colin Collins. No 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 time on the clock though. No time on the clock. You get it? Was that was that at the buzzer? It was right at the buzzer. Oh, I don't know how you can make a call like that in a game like this. How are you gonna make a let him let him go to overtime, let him battle it out. No time on the clock, and I believe he's gonna have two free throws because the team, both teams are in the penalty right now, coach. Well, the real issue here is you can't foul. In a that's true, that's true. Like they had they had him they had him locked down on defense and they had him they had him, they had, they had, yeah, they it had. A buzzer shot, yeah, you right, can't foul. Right, exactly. You had foul was mass shooting a, a tough shot as it was, you didn't need to foul there. And now, I believe they put point eight point. Are they going to put any time on the clock? The point, the point, and yeah, one second left. Point zero one second, Dave. <laughs> we picked a hell of a game to start off. Our little now that now it looks like they're putting no time. Oh, I'll tell I think you. the rest are discussing how much time is left on the clock, if any. I think there, I think there was time. What is your strategy here? Because well, you got 0.7 seconds left on the clock. If you could make the first one, wouldn't it behoove you to maybe miss the second one? Because then you're not going to have any time to get a, to get a well, shot going I'll, out the I'll other way. I'll be honest with you, Dave. He makes the first one. It's game time. It doesn't matter what the strategy is. Because I'm he, sure Northern, Northern Essex probably has a, they might have a timeout in hand. I'm not sure if they can, I'm not sure if they, they can advance the ball though. They can't advance the ball that fast. They would have to literally, as soon as they we'll pass see. it out. We'll see, free throws has been a problem. That was mass. And he misses the first one. Free throws have been a problem on both sides today. And they're gonna try to ice him for this second one, Al. If he can't make this, this is, this is, could be the ball game right here. Hello. Well, we're in Bishop Connolly, Fall River, Massachusetts. What a game we've seen. It's 84 to 84. And um, 0.8 seconds left in the game. I mean, you had, couldn't write this. Yeah, foul was mass going up for a final, going up for a final shot there with the game tied. And and Northern Essex commit, commits the foul. I believe it was number two, Colin Collins, who committed the foul for Northern Essex. And now we have a tie ball game here. Two free throws by Two free throws being shot by Fowler's Mass. He misses the front end, and now Northern Essex is taking a timeout to try to ice, to try to ice Colin, to try to ice Fowler's Mass. And he, David, he's been money 
at the free throw line today. But no, but the story of the game has been both both teams on both sides have, haven't been able to make any free throws. And so if anybody has, free throws been have been a problem here tonight. So we'll see if Fowler's Mask can make this free throw and try to win this game for BCC. But we still have 0.8 seconds left on the clock. We'll, let's see how this one ends. My money's on Mass. He's going to make this one, Dave. I don't know. A lot of pressure on the young kid here. Five foot ten freshman from Taunton High School trying to virtually end the game. And then with 0.8 seconds left, I'm not sure the timeout situation right now. Maybe a timeout in hand for Northern Essex. But Mass looking to put his team up one. And he misses the free throw. And they're going to overtime. overtime. Couldn't make the free throw. Couldn't win the game. Uh, and we're going to OT. Going to OT, baby. Unbelievable. That was earlier, but he, if you remember, he was at the line before. Couldn't ice the game. Two chances to win the game, and you can't do it. Yeah, he, he's played a game. He has really played a real game. You kind of your heart, your heart goes, your heart goes out for him not being able to sink those two free throws there, or at least one, which would have you'd have seen would have won the game. Yeah. They had Northern Essex had no chance to advance it, no chance to get the ball at half court. I don't think they had a timeout there, obviously, or they would have called one with 0.8 seconds left. So. You make one free throw there. When you make one free throw there, and you are, you're walking out of this building today with a victory, going into Thanksgiving, and now we now we have a whole new. Been, now we, I'll tell you, the, the sweet potato souffle would have tasted a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's, it tastes a little sour. You have a nine. You have a nine point nine point. It's a nine point game with a couple minutes left, and um, and then. And then you see Northern Essex goes and goes into goes into press mode, and BCC struggles. They struggle to handle the press. Well, it's like a whole new game. It's zero zero. Dave. I raised the score. It's zero zero. 84-84. It's been a we've had an exciting second half here. But well, now let's. Uh, well, we knew it right in the beginning of the game. We said it's going to be a dog fight. Yeah, if you're coach, what do you think Coach Del Lou's telling them in that huddle right there? I think he's saying, hey. You can't, you can't, you gotta forget about what happened in the first half and the second half and the free throws you just missed and and the, exactly. and the lead that you coughed up, Denver Broncos style. You know, you, not that bad. But you gotta, you gotta pump up your kids. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta bring, you gotta bring it back up. And there's yeah. a tip. That's Carmona that comes up with it. Northern Essex will win the tip. There's Morenzi. Decides not to take it to the three. Good decision. Nice scoop. Up. Nice take to the hole. I like how he didn't take the three there, and he took it to the hole strong. Here's Moniz being doubled in the corner. Oh, nice bounce pass to McElroy. Way to find him. Way to be patient and find. Way to, way to, way for McElroy to cut to the basket and make a shot, make a layup. 86-86. Here's Ryan Grant. Oh, a deep three, air ball by Collins, who made the big three earlier. Oh, my goodness. Moniz pushes past, trying to push past Carmona. Boy, he's a good uh, full court press. Here's Shane DeRosa. He sure can. Taking it to the hole. Nice scope play. And that's Bawa's mass trying to make up, make it up for the two free throws missed in regulation, at the end of regulation. Giving his team a lead, 88-86. Up by two. Moranzi, boy, is he good. Nice pass to Carmona, who can't hold on to it. That was a nice, nice shovel pass there by uh, by our guy with the pink with the pink sneakers on there. But Carmona couldn't handle it. Peterson Moranzi. He is a good point guard. Peterson, he sure is. Yeah, he knows how to penetrate. Uh, I like his decision not to take the three there and take yep. it to the hole. He yep. makes good decisions with the basketball. Here's DeRosa, drive it to the hole and gets fouled. And there, there's Shane DeRosa. He seemed to be, he seems to be non-existent in this ball game. Well, and a total non-factor. He hit a big three at the top of the key in the second half. Yeah. Um, well. 
he hasn't been scoring like he usually does, but I'll tell you, he's always he's made, a fast He's made a, big few, a few big plays in the paint with, with, some, uh, with some good passes finding guys. Well, they're on him, you know, they, they're trapping him, they're on him. They and he hits two big free throws there to make it a two possession ball game with three and a half to go. But don't cut the Knights out, they came back from nine with two and a half to go early, a nice play. Where's the defense on that one? Wide open lane, no one to front him. That was Ryan Grant. I tell you, they miss Bailey over there. They, they do. Him. The loss of Devon Bailey has been huge. Here's Parker, makes a move and he traveled. The oh, tenth. I saw him it's gotta be a. There, gotta, I I but he, but he, there. he stepped without dribbling though. He, uh, he, he took a, he took a quick step there and didn't put the ball to the floor, and that's like the 10th traveling call called on your BCCBs today. And it doesn't matter what I think. Three minutes. <laughs> Carmona going baseline. Oh, nice bounce pass out. Forbes a fall away. And a nice rebound by McElroy. Ball on the floor. Wow. I'll tell you what. He did get up there. I'll tell you what. Northern Essex, they, they they never feel like they're out of a loose ball or anything. They they just when just when you think BCC has the ball, Northern Essex is coming up with it. They pop back and they, pop and they, and they come back. Yes. His foul was Mass in the corner, being guarded by Grant. Number three on number three, two mirror images of each other. Boy, these two teams really match up. Driving to the hole, someone got him. Someone got him on the drive to the basket. Looks like a little arguing going on with the Knights. Looks like the team is a little bit of uh, yeah, a little fussy. Friction there. <laughs> Ninety to eighty-eight. You know, little things like that make up a big difference in a team. You know, they start arguing, and next thing you know, and Mass. Mass hits one from the free throw line. He could have hit them earlier. Could be a moot point though, they can pull this ball game out. And he makes and both free throws. 92 to 88. Here's Morenzi. Peterson Morenzi, the excellent freshman. Finding Sexter, top of the key, three pointer, couldn't make it. And he's gone cold. Yeah, he really has. He's he, gone he cold. He was he had some big ones in the in the first half. He sure did. Wow. That's going to be a push off on Fowler's mask there. They didn't call it. They called him out of bounds. Oh, he called him out of bounds. Yep. Less than 2 minutes to play in this one. up by 4. Here's Lorenzi. Gets it in to come on. A nice strong move. And it puts it up with the left hand. That's something that that's something that the Knights need to go with a little Where bit more. Did he come from? Derek and No, that was Carmona. Was that Carmona? Yes. Moniz trying to get into the lane. Scoops up with the right hand. Almost got it to go, but he couldn't. They come up loose with the basketball. Eric Andrew. DeRosa misses the jumper in the corner, and it's going to go Northern Essex. Andrew Lee, number 22, he's a big presence on the knee Nice, strong move on the knee. He must have a... Oh, yeah, he's got like a... Okay. Here's Morenzi. Grant going night. Oh, nice. The four. Oh, the Forbes. And he almost, he went up strong there, the big man. That's something that, that Forbes should have been doing all game. You see him getting the ball inside and, and, and taking, taking. And, no, no you, you see him inside earlier taking, taking fadeaway jumpers. Yeah. That were nowhere, that were nowhere near the rim. And now he, he takes this. He takes this ball to the basket strong. Oh, yeah. and that's what he needs to be doing at six foot five, 220 pounds, a freshman. And Forbes calmly 
sinks that first one to pull within one. Drama filled. Crowd getting a little restless now. <laughs> Forbes misses the free throw. McElroy grabs it. He can bomb that kid, boy. He can get up there. He sure can. He can, he can leap off the gym. And Monis has got the ball. Timeout time by, out time by, out by Coach Rob Delalue and a smart one. Woo, David. With his team, with his team up by one and 41.8 seconds Boy, left. it hasn't let up, not even in the overtime. It, it sure has. It's been a barn burner here in the second half. It's been back and it's been back and forth. Now, what would you be saying right now? I'd be saying, just to, just to, first of all, you don't want to turn the basketball over. You know, you don't want to, you know, you want to, you want to swing the ball around, and look for, a, look for a good shot, not, not to force, not to force anything. Get the ball, get the ball inside, get the ball inside of your bigs. This is where you miss, this is where you miss Devon Bailey. Yeah. You miss him posting up down there. I agree. And. Um, and being able to get offensive rebounds. He's six foot five. He's listed at six foot five. Would you put Lewis in there? I think I'd I get him in there. I get him in there. I'm not I sure why. Also. I'm not sure why Coach Del Lou has not played him more. I get definitely him a big, definitely a big knees. body. Definitely. He'd go in there and get some get some rebounds. And you know the Knights are gonna go with their quick guys on this. Yeah. So you get Lewis That's the knees. way the Knights have gone back into the game with their quickness, their ability to press and 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 force BCC into bad mistakes, and that's what you've seen. Well, it looks like they're that's why we're that's why we're in overtime. Right. He's gonna play on the knee. Well, Parker's long. He's lean. He, and he's, he's he can get to the bat. He can get to the he can get to the basket. Big, big, strong. Player. He gives him some size to Forbes, but he can leap out the gym, and he's got more quickness than Forbes. As they'll go man to man. Here's DeRosa. Only a one-point lead with 35 seconds left. 15, 15 on the shot clock. Big possession. The, the game clock reads 24, and there's a foul on the floor, and that's going to be on Derek Andral. Another foul that you didn't need. I know a little bit earlier I was getting confused as to, as to uh, Nephi, Nephi Carmona and Eric Andral, 21 and 22. Uh, yeah. Both have a similar, both have a similar frame. Yeah. You know, Nephi Carmona, Nephi Carmona is six Derek. foot two, 240 pounds. Derek Androli. Yeah. He's a freshman, six and foot. He's a big boy. He's a big boy too. Yeah. Just like Nephi Carmona. He's yeah. actually coming out of the game, and he's being looks like they keep some they supplies get, over they, there. They in, uh, and it looks like he's fouled. I think he fouled out of the game. Singster, I may be mistaken. In there. I'll tell you, yeah, Sanks has been on cold. DeRosa two shots. Two shots. Two shots. DeRosa misses, and that's been the story. That's been the story. The missed free throws. The missed free throws by BCC down the stretch has been the story. And you know that the coaches are going to let them know it come practice. Free throws. Practice, you know coach well, this is the, this is the time you play the game, coach. I play the game. This is the time when you're shooting free throws and you're tired. And you've been playing all the, you've been playing this game. And um, how you doing? It's, it's the whole game. 24 seconds left, 92 to 91. The home team lead them by one. We wouldn't be here right now, but the uh, the North and Essex, uh, the Knights there were leading. We're down by nine points with two minutes left, with about two and a half to play, and they came back with hustle, and they came back with their press, forcing BCC into a lot of bad mistakes, and um, and ultimately ultimately tying this game, and also BCC and their lack of lack of hitting free throws down the stretch. 92 to 91. We just seen Shane DeRosa miss the front end of, uh, of two shot of, of two shots here. And it's and a big shot now. It's big a big shot. shot. Well, it only put him up by by two. 
But that's but to me, that's been the story. BCC's inability to hit free throws no. at the line, so or this game wouldn't be as close as it is right now. The Rose are trying to make this a two-point game. And he misses both free throws and a chance to win it. God, if you're if you're a Northern Essex, you gotta slow it down and go for the last shot here. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything quick here. Get into your offense. What you got? Here's Grant, kicks it back out. Collins for three. Couldn't get it. Rebound by four is knocked away. They got the ball. And they get fouled. Are you serious? Are you serious? Did he foul him? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a smart, it's a smart move by the way. It's not they a got, smart foul. That was, you don't foul him. Oh, that's right, it was a one, it's a one point. Got, You're right. Got, oh, yeah, that's right. And, and, and I'll tell you, it was very smart to foul him when they did. If, well, you had to swallow. Yeah. And I'll tell you, if he makes Forgetting this, it was a one point game there. You know, Moss of all people, he wants redemption. There's still time left on the clock, though. You know? If he makes a couple here, still time left on the still time left on the clock. Yeah, I mean, technically they could get a shot off. They could get they can get a decent shot off. Mav missed. He hits it. He makes it. He makes it. He, he makes now it. a three pointer would win it. A three pointer would win it here for Northern Essex. For, for, for BCC. Someone check the timeouts for Northern Essex. Mass, the second free throw. Makes it. makes it. And the timeout's called by Northern Essex. Now the only thing, the only thing that Northern Essex can do is, is to tie it. Right. In <laughs> 2.9 seconds, um, you know, uh, you, you, you gotta feel good about this. You gotta feel good. I well, mean, you gotta feel if you're close to LLU, you gotta feel like you like you escaped from one. Even though you had a you had a big lead late, you gave it up and you almost lost it. You missed two free throws at the end that could have won it, and now you're up by three with well, 2.9 seconds left. Well, David, I think the most they've really been up has been eight points, and they gave that up in what 30 seconds. They were up by they were up by nine. It was 82 to 73 oh. with about two and a half to play. So um, it's not like any one team has walked away with this at any time. No, but it's if you're if you're BCC, if you're Coach Rob Delu, and you're and you're and you're part of this BCC team right now. You got to feel like you, you, you've escaped with one because you were up by nine. You ultimately let that lead go. You had two free throws to win to, to win the game at the end of regulation, and you missed both of those free throws. And now it's been a barn burner. It's been a tight game this far, and now it's 94-91. You have the lead with 2.9 seconds left. You got to feel relieved if you walk out of a win here today. If you're Coach Del Lou. And, and BCC. Mass, you got to feel like, hey, you got those three throws back, right? Right, right. Redemption for the young kid. Because he's played well in this game, and yeah. it and shouldn't I, have come down I'm to free throws like that. It's gonna be... Nice time out to see what they're going to do. Exactly. To see what they're going to do. And it looks like, it looks like, it looks like, it looks, it looks like coach is coming up with a man-to-man, man-to-man -man, man -man full court press yeah. there. What you gotta look at what's coming up what's coming up on the other side. With 2.9 seconds, you're you're able to get some kind of shot off. You get a you get a you gotta get a good long inbound pass here. And if you're BCC. I tell you what, the kid, I tell you what, the kid Peterson Morenzi, if anyone can push the ball up right now in 2.9 seconds, it's him. Yeah. I'm I'm giving I'm, my money's on him to get the ball and with, drive and drive, drive up yeah. to the court and just and take your chances with him because he's a guy that can push it from one end to the court and you know zero zero to zero to sixty. They got to get it out deep to him because if he starts from here, it's going to take him two seconds just to get there. You got to get it to him. 94-91. Again, we're at Bishop Connolly, Bishop Connolly BCC, High School. You don't, you know, you give him the inside. Who right. cares? Right. Give him the inside. Just don't give him those three points. Protect it. And if you're BCC, don't foul. Do not foul on a three-point shot. Yep. Remember that. But if you're BCC right now, do you foul them on this inbound? Make them shoot free throws. Shorten the game. Do you do that? But 
No, you don't do that because you haven't been hitting free throws yourself. So my chances, I would take chances on a, on a play here. Carmona inbound the, inbound the ball. They'll throw it on. They need to kick it out. Perfect play for three. They made it. What a play. It went tall and we're going to double OT. Unbelievable. Colin Collins with the big three in the corner. And a huge. Wow. Unbelievable. And he was the one to make the foul. What a play there. He was the one to make the foul at the buzzer. Oh, yeah. Was, was it him? One, yes, it was Wait him that made the foul at the buzzer in, in, in earlier on that that match oh, wow. the two to win. How apropos is that? <laughs> wow. wow. Unbelievable. Wow, we really have a what did, what did we What did we just see there? What an unbelievable <laughs> play. Just when you think the game is over we and we're walking out of here. Folks. We got a nail biter, let me tell you. A nail biter? This has been a hell of a, this has been a, hell of a second half. Yeah. Look at the play. Look at the, you said that you said that they had to get a long pass in there, right? Yep. They get a long pass to what, about half court. Yep. Perfect. They did a. They had the guy. They had the guy at the top of the key. Yeah, it was Grant, I believe. Grant drove to here, dumped it off. Dumped it to off Collins. to the. Collins has, is open. He couldn't get there quick enough, and he makes the three. Yes. Nice job. Nice Unbelievable. job. Unbelievable. Nice game plan. And I'll tell you. Both coaches did what they were supposed to do. They, they covered it right. It was just a very well executed play. And um, right when they needed it. Right, right. when they needed it, Dave. You know, um, you got to hand it to both teams. It was almost like the 2 1 2 play where you have one guy set up at the top of the key there, and then he, they got the ball, they got the ball in the corner there to Collins, who drained, absolutely drained it, and you could see it coming the whole way. Well, in the beginning, you know, we uh, we got handed the rosters in late. weren't quite sure who was who, and by the end. But of now this I think game, by we know who is so who. We, we know, know who is who. who. That's right. We know who is who. <laughs> well, they just both out there. A lot of big boys out there right now. Nepi Nepi Carmona, number twenty-one, and uh, jumping right now is Javante Forbes. Yeah going against Parker, and five more minutes of basketball in Bishop Conley. Unbelievable, what a game we have here. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Here's Parker from the top of the key, the jumper is no good. Rebound by Forbes, gets it to his speedy point guard, Morenzi. Morenzi kicks it back out. Yeah, exactly. Here's Grant. Grant, nice pass down low. Carmona goes up strong. Nephi Carmona, two, the 240-pound dump truck down, down low. Two-point lead. Free throw is going to come back to haunt BCC. And now both benches, now both benches getting into it. You would think there was 20,000 people here. I'm sweating. Here's the Rosa driving the lane. Oh, he should have brought it. He should have checked. Moniz for three and he made it. Nice. And a one point lead. I thought the Rosa should have took the shot. He didn't. That was nice. One point game. Grant. The pick being set by Forbes. Looking for a pick and roll. Now Forbes posts up inside. They can't get it to him. Carmona at the top of the key, gets it down inside of Forbes. Looking to make a post move. Fadeaway jumper, no good, bad shot. Yeah, he spun to his opposite his, side. His fadeaway jump shot is not good. Carmona is uh, a playmaker. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Maybe throw the foul on the drive. Or shot like clock winding run. down. Nice pick. Come, Moniz Ooh, missed it off the side of the backboard horribly. Now coming down the other end, Ryan Grant gets it down inside of Kamona. It's going to be a foul, and that foul is going to be on Fawaz Mass. Fawaz Mass. Yep. Yep. And Kamona, the dump truck. He's up by one. 
two minutes and 50 seconds come here, come here, and the double overtime. And the double overtime. And Coach, coach uh, called the timeout? The unlikely double overtime. Yeah. How unlikely was this double overtime? We did not see this coming. Well, the Bees have had two chances to put this game away. Couldn't okay. do it. You got it. You got to think That's the that, thing. The, that the Knights are thinking really. That they're, they're really high right now. You got to think that the Knights feel like they're it. like they're thinking like do. we we don't even belong here right now. If yeah. you're the Knights, if you're and if you're the coach of the Knights right now, you're thinking we don't we don't even we weren't even in this game. We were we were on that bus going back home. Yeah. To Essex. You know. And now you're and now they're right here down by one. And their big man at the free throw line. Tell you what, if you're Northern Essex, you got you got some size here. Take advantage of that. And you were talking to Coach Al about putting uh, put, putting uh, Lewis, Derek Lewis in, and he's back in there now to try to combat some of the size that he, uh, that the uh, that the Knights are going with. Yep. Trying to tie the game is Carmona. Carmona, nice rainbow free throw there. Ties the game at 97. Moniz trying to get in the lane. Here's McElroy. Here's Shane DeRosa. 10 on the clock. 10 on the clock, it's in the lane, it's blocked by Forbes. Oh, he Ooh. Who do they call that off on? They called it on Carbone 2 1. Six on the shot clock. Inbound underneath their own basket, it's DeRosa. DeRosa kicks it all the way out to Moniz. Shot clock winding down. Moniz in the lane, left hand, oh, what a block by Forbes! Oh, to Marinzi, gonna give the Knights a lead. What a block on the end by number 35, Javante Forbes. Marinzi finishes on the other end. Wow. Oh, and Big responding, job. responding is number one, Boy, Justin McElroy. Yeah, it's a different star every time. 99-99. Coach Del Lou, Bruce losing his mind. He's absolutely losing his mind. He knows he should be home right now. Getting into the lane is Lorenzi, and there's a foul on the floor. But David, you're right. DeRosa really hasn't been he has not, the loss that he usually He has is. not asserted himself. He has not. To me, he's been a disappearing act here. I mean, don't I, get me wrong. He's always, he's, he's always a problem for another team, right? He's always there, making plays, you know, getting the ball around, handling the ball. But, coach, but he hasn't it. been really scoring, you know. And that's his, that's and his forte. That's his forte, and he hasn't been able to do it here today, not like he should. Morenzi sinks both free throws with ice water in his veins right there. Moniz pushes the ball back down the other end, and that was make or break time. You're down two. How clutch are you, BCC? And they lose the ball out of bounds. And with a minute 26 left in the, left, left in the game, you can't make mistakes like this. What are you telling the guys that you're the coach? Gotta make a play. Gotta make a play on the defensive end. They're down by two. Right. There's a minute and 26 seconds left in a double overtime game. You had two chances to put the game away. What do you tell your guys? Well, I think that's the thing. I mean, you, you know that you should have won this game. You know that, that you had many chances to win this game, but you haven't done it. But you still have a minute 26 to try to do something here. Oh, there's plenty of time. So there's plenty of time, yeah, obviously. We got plenty of time. But if you lose this game, this is a tough game to lose. I'll tell you that. This would be a yeah, tough like a This would be a tough lose. pill to swallow for the yeah. kids. And yeah. losing to Bon Bailey, we keep forgetting that Devon Bailey, he went out with that ankle injury yeah. within the last few minutes of the game. And it's made the But difference. what we're thinking that it was a moot point because we we're thinking that this game is basically in the bag. Yeah. And now they could have used Devon Bailey 
and it showed here in the and, last. And did Nuki fall out? Why did it? He's another big man. He was a big man that was really solid. Yeah. He was. He was a. He was a big man that was making a. That was um pretty solid down low, grabbing yeah. some grabbing some rebounds and when was in the defense. Yeah. You know, and and, and he was a and he defense, was a he was, he was a defensive presence down there. And we have not seen Kevin Newby since early in the second half, maybe the first half. Lorenzi brings the ball up for the Knights, being brought up by the star. Devontae Rose, covering, uh, Shane DeRosa covering Morenzi. Yeah. And they got uh, Lewis covering for the pie. Huh? Here's Ryan Grant looking to go baseline. Good defense by McElroy though, but all the way full circle left hand. Wow. wow. Unbelievable. He went all the way around the world to scoop it in with the left hand Ryan Grant did. McElroy, the jumper, he can't make it. Rebound by Collins. They got a foul. They don't need a foul. You don't need a foul yet. It's a four, four, four. And they do. A foul. What a turn of events here in the river. But still plenty of still plenty of time. Foul shots are the story today, and it's the story in most games. I, I mean, would, last night. My team, we lost because of foul shots. We had a chance to put it away. Same thing tonight. It's such a simple part to of the game, right? Foul shots. It's a, it's a simple part of the game, but an essential part of the game. If you can't make the foul shots, you are not going to win the game. What's the sense of taking the ball to the rim and being aggressive and if, you can't, if you can't make the free throws? And a lot of times, BCC is gun to the rack, not being able to finish but then you can't make the free throws. Yep. And that's why you're down four points right now, 103 to 99. Still plenty of time, but not looking good for, for the Bees right now, no, Al. No, it doesn't look good. 36 seconds left in the game. Down by four points. Down by four, but if you're on this end now, what are you telling your team? What I'm telling them is Make look, your damn free throws, right? You gotta make free throws. Hey, what I tell them is look, Give up the inside, I don't care. Make sure you don't follow them on a three-point shot. That's right. what I tell my team. I keep it simple. Right. Northern Essex Boy, is gonna- this is a tough one to lose for the Bees. Yeah. Northern, Essex is gonna, Northern Essex is gonna inbound the ball here. And they got a foul. They'll foul Javante. They'll foul Javante Forbes. And this is this is the way this game's gonna be right up to the end. They're gonna be fouling and they're gonna go up to the foul line. And they have a chance though. They have a chance. You know, if if the Knights don't make this, right, they have a chance. Mm -hmm. Javante Forbes makes the free throw. Boy, he, he's done this earlier. You know, he gets on the free throw, on the, on the free throw line, and he's been making it. And it seems like the guy, he can't hit the broad side of a barn when he's shooting out there. Uh, right, on the move. When he's on the moving. move, right. falling away, open Run jumpers. Away, right. But making the free throw there, that's big. That's and he makes, he makes another one here. It's a two-possession ball. It's a two-possession ball game right now. got a hand tonight. They hung in there. They hang in tight. They're, Everybody. You know, they didn't give up. If you're just joining us, 33.6 seconds left in double overtime, 104 to 99, your Bristol Community College Bees had a nine point lead and a nine point lead with about two, about two minutes left in the ball game. And that's when Northern Essex went on their run. Um, Sought a force of BCC in the turnovers. And then at the end of the game, at a tie ball game, Fawaz Mass goes to the goes to the goes to the free throw line after he's followed by Colin Collins. He had two chances to take a free to take a free throw to ice the game and didn't make either. And that's what resulted in the first overtime. And then up by three, 94 to 91, with 2.9 seconds left. Colin Collins is a three-point shot at the buzzer to tie the game. And that's why we're in double overtime. 
And in this, and in this half, it's been, it's been Northern Essex. It all started with a big block by this kid, Chavante Forbes, who's been a monster underneath. And those are some really cool shoes there, too. Just weird. Free throw missed by Forbes. In the corner, that's Parker. He'll miss it. Rebound, blue. Who fouled there, Dave? I didn't see it. Was it, was it Cabo? Not a happy moment on that bench over there. Nothing but frustration if you're Coach Delalu. Nothing but frustration if you're if you're um, if you're if you're Bristol Community College on that, on that basketball team right now. A game that seemed to be in hand, and you coughed it up, and now a five-point lead, Al, and uh, Northern Essex basketball not looking good. Yeah, well, Dave. The Knights have got to feel good about winning. You got to come in like you came in. You came into Fall River today and you stole one from this team. And BCC, uh, they do have the basketball. They do have the basketball, so a chance here. You need to get a quick bucket. You need to get a bucket. Here's Moniz. Moniz in the corner. DeRosa for three. The kid get it. Put back by Moniz. Foul, got a quick foul. Foul, foul. You get a foul, you get a foul. They can't foul. And wow, that was big. That's a big three seconds going off the clock there. That's huge. Couldn't foul him. I'll tell you, there's a lot of frustration going around with BCC because they know they had this game. And Carmona, if he hits one free throw here, this game is over. Nice touch on the free throw there, and that's about enough to ice it. You know, we talk about free throws made, and North, North Essex hasn't been that much better than BCC. But they've hit in key ones down the stretch of these overtimes yeah. that have uh, given them a four-point lead. They hit them. They definitely did. The story, if you want to tell one story about the game, turnovers and free throws. And that's why you look up at the scoreboard right now, and in the, the, uh, the Northern Essex, the Knights, they lead 105 to 101. Northern Essex, not too much better from the line. But key free throws down the stretch here have, have have resulted in the lead that you see here, 105 to 101. And, and what a comeback. What, what a comeback and what what execution of that what execution of that double of the uh, the uh, the column three pointer, what execution? It was perfectly executed. Well they put Tucker and, the, and you can't say enough about the Knights and their hustle here today. Yeah. Never giving up on a loose ball. Always going back on, de getting back on defense. And then just never giving up, never giving up on a play. Well, always staying, always ball. staying in there. He gets well, this one in and, well, well, it's, it's not going to matter either way. You got to come. He does make both, he does make both free throws. Give the kid credit. You got to hit something big, you got to hit something now. And that's going to be the ball game. Oniz will hit it, will miss it, and that's the game, folks. That's the game. 106 to 101. The Northern Essex Knights come in and shock and steal a game against the Bristol Community College Bees. 106 to 101 is the final. And if you're, that's a, a heartbreaker for Rob Delalu and his call and his team tonight. Not a way, not a way you want to go into the Thanksgiving break. Tough one, to, tough one to swallow here at Bishop Carnley High School. Tough. But give all the credit to the Knights today. They hustled. They hustled. They came up with the, came up with the big shots and the big free throws down the stretch to seal the deal. Well, that wraps it up for us tonight. Um, hopefully we'll see all you folks.
on the 5th, Thursday the 5th against Gateway. Right. Okay, so that's, uh, this is Coach Al. And uh, I'm, I'm your, I'm Dave, I'm Dave Cardoza. This is Coach Al. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure broadcasting this game from Bishop Connolly today, 106 to 101, heartbreaker in Fall River. But um, I don't know what else to say. This, uh, this, uh, you can't say enough about the hustle of the Knights today and uh, the way they were to storm back in the end of that first half and uh, make key shots down in overtime. Uh, the final score, 106 to 101. I'm Dave Cardoza, Coach Al. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.